Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 68 of our Football Manager 19 save with Barnet FC. So we, uh, first off, not sure if I'm going to continue this, but I needed, you know, I had some time to do some recording, so figured I would at least do this one. And uh, I'm assuming it will see the light of day. <laughs> if it doesn't, well... You'll never see this, right? But uh, I want to thank those of you that took time to watch the, uh, you know, the little video I put out asking you guys for help. A uh, couple of really good comments already. Looking forward to getting some more, I hope. Uh, but some good, some good insight and, you know, again, I want to just stress that I do do this for fun. I'm not just chasing numbers because all the games that I play are games and that I put up on my channel are all games that I'm going to be playing anyway. So don't think I'm just trying to chase views, but views is really the only thing that I can adjust this a little bit that I can evaluate how my channel's doing and um you know it's just trying to get get my channel out there to more people you know to share what i'm doing in hopes that they get some enjoyment out of it um anyway on to on to more important business uh so here's a look we had a pretty rough pretty rough go of it in the friendlies uh three to two loss to leads actually not bad uh Keindra Simmons and Jordan Stevens with first half goals. Uh, Joshua Olowayemi, Olo our reserve goalkeeper, uh, gave up an own goal. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. A 1-1 draw with Exeter City. Uh, Courtney Sr., a late signing from last season, scored for us. Chesterfield beat us 1-0. We actually played pretty well. You can look at some of the ratings. Played pretty well. Uh, Derby County, who is uh, our affiliate club, higher up, beat us 3-1. to one. Tim Rasulo with a hat trick. Nick Richardson, you're going, hey, there's some names that I don't recognize. And you're right, we'll go through transfers in a minute. K Town, uh, we beat 2-0. Uh, MJ Williams scored both goals, a nice little brace, including a penalty. Knotts County, 1-0 loss. Chris Cousins scored in the 89th minute. We actually played him very well. And 3-1 win over Burnley. A stunning win, according to the news reports. Aaron Wilson, you recognize that name. That was his first match for us this, here this season. Dion Pereira, Connor McElhaney with a late goal. And so we looked pretty good there. So I want to give you a number. Nine hundred and fifty-two thousand and eighty-six dollars. Right? Keep that number in your head. That's what we started on July first before the Leeds match. That's how much money we had in the bank. You ready? Bam! One point six six million dollars. So we've made almost a half a million dollars in profit this season, and. Um, doing well we actually made some sales we made some purchases you can see i went from 1.9 to 2.4 million my payroll was at 2.9 you are correct in remembering that i had to make a budget adjustment to sign another player so real quick let's go look at those transfers uh let's see all right, so first off, James Justin goes to Wigan, potentially $150,000, 28 years old. Uh, we got him on a free, not a bad little profit, I suppose, and he's played well for us. I, I really did not want to lose him, but he goes up from, you know, we were in League Two, promoted to League One. He goes up to the championship, good on him. Uh, Rob Hall, we let his contract expire. He disappears on a free. He was, if you, you may remember, the 32-year-old vet 
I wasn't going to renew him at this level. Dale Fitzpatrick went out on loan. All the rest of these are young guys on loans. So we've got 120,000 going up to 150,000. We brought in a few players. One, two, three, four. Four loanies. So uh, all four from Derby County. So let's start with Mr. Wilson. Now, of course, Aaron had a great year for us last year. 15, well, you know, great being relative. 15 and 38. Almost a one and two guy, right? Not quite one and three, but he played well for us. Played well for us up top. We tried to get him to come back, and three different occasions he rejected us, saying that he wanted to play with higher caliber players. So we said fine, and then right before we got to the you know to the end of the month, nobody had signed him, nobody had picked him up on loan. So you know what I said, he's he's got some good ratings, right? You know he could do the do a job for us. He was our leading striker last year. I've got some new guys, but he could come in and contribute at least. So we asked again, and he said yes. Harry Hamblin, this was a guy that we had signed last season. He can play center back. He's only 5'11", but he can head. He's almost six feet, but he's more a defensive midfielder in the anchor Segundo Volante uh, realm. And marking and tackling is real good. I think he'll be a good anchor. So one of our tactics is that 4-2 four, 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 with the two either Segunda Volantes or one Volante and one anchor. I think he's going to do a job for us in that spot. So he's the guy we had signed last year. Uh, he comes over on a free from Mansfield, staying in League One. And I think we're going to be happy with him. James Hoskins, we paid $67,000 for this guy. This was our big wad blow. Uh, he comes over from Rockdale. He is a goalkeeper, and man, does he look good. I like him very, very much. So he started four matches. He's allowed four goals, two shutouts. So two clean sheets and one goal per match. Well, technically, I guess two goals a match when he's not for giving a clean sheet. But we needed a serious upgrade at keeper, and he was it. So we dropped some money on him. This was another guy that we signed last year. Uh, Nathan Mariah Welch comes over into the season. He can play both wing positions as a wide midfielder. Not the paciest, but he does have good acceleration. Good technique, first touch, crossing, some important characteristics there. Uh, passing leaves a little bit to be desired. I was thinking he was going to be more if we would have stayed at League 2. So, yeah, but he looks like he might do okay for us, right? I mean, he won't be horrible. He's right in line with the rest of the guys. I thought he would be an upgrade staying in League 2. So being that we have mostly the same roster... He's going to be an upgrade for us. Then we brought in, uh, well, let's do the lone guys last. Uh, Jordan Thompson comes over from Exeter City. Uh, for $10,000. Sorry, I got a comment on one of my channels, uh, one, on my, one of my videos. Um, 27 years old, center back, uh, 6'2". He's got strength, which I seriously lacked in the center back position. Uh, pace, acceleration. He's got pretty good physicals. I like the minnows that he has, heading, marking. All in all, big upgrade for us here. He's either going to start or he's going to be off the bench for us. And he can also play right back. Uh, crossing, yeah, but, you know, he can do the job if he needs to. And then we can also, again, pop him up to that anchor position if we need to. So he can fill a couple of roles for us. So like that. Uh, this guy, kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking this is going to be our breakout goal scorer. Keandra Simmons from Wigan. He's got pace. He's got acceleration. 
He's got dribbling, first touch, finishing. He can actually play the false nine that the tactic I use calls for. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, five matches, only one goal, but one player of the match. So I'm excited to have him. Uh, we brought in Tristan Cover uh, as on a free. He was a free agent, left back, and center back depth. Again, strength, little short for center back, but I was looking more on the left side. Uh, he's got pace, acceleration, marking. He can actually defend uh, and pass. His crossing's going to hurt us on that side. So, you know, I don't know that he's going to start for us. But, again, I was just looking to add some bodies with some talent. Uh, we paid another 11 and a quarter grand for Osman Kake from Knotts County. Uh, they were one of the teams that got relegated from League 1 to League 2. Uh, this was from the uh, other deal. Uh, I just gave you his name, James Justin. Uh, we needed a right back, so he's got really good physicals. He can dribble. He's got decent crossing, long throws, marking. I like him. He's going to do a good job for us. Now, I don't know if he's going to start... Uh, you know, I'm still looking at, at all that. We were just playing people trying to get match fitness in the friendlies. Uh, let's see. Then we brought in Dale Fitzpatrick, uh, a, a right winger. Again, wide midfielder. Solid physicals, pace, acceleration. He's 20. He is more... Um, he's He's with our under 23s. He's... I'm looking to the future with him. We've already loaned him out to North Lee. So trying to get him some development. And then Aaron Wilson, of course, came on. Um, let's take a look at the other loanies. Charlie Bolter. Uh, he's a 21-year-old Irishman with five under-21 caps for Ireland. Uh, center back, right back option. And he's playing well, playing well. Solid physicals again. A little slow off the mark, but he has good pace. Really good mentals, except for composure. So I expect a lot of yellow cards out of him. Heading's okay. Marking is really good. Tackling is at least average. Not sure Again, not sure if he's going to be a starter, but could do a job. Uh, then we brought in Ian Joyce. He is a returnee, I believe. No, he is not. I mistook that. Sorry about that. Uh, where is he at? Ian Joyce. Uh, he's also injured with sprained knee ligaments. He'll be out for another month. But striker, midfield option. He can play the false nine. Uh, he's got good, you know, solid physicals. I like his mentals. Determination's a little low, but good work rate, vision, leadership, technique. He can pass the ball. First touch. He can take free kicks. He can even dribble. So, you know, he could play. If, if we go into that 4-4-1-1, uh, four, four, one, one, he could actually play the number 10. Uh, he could play the midfield in that role uh, if we use that. Not expecting to use that a lot this year uh, just because we're going to be underdogs, I think, a lot. Uh, Nick Richardson, uh, he's on loan from Derby as well. Again, he's a striker. I brought him in after we had tried to get Wilson two or three times. So he's going to probably get the nod over Wilson, a 16 finishing 14 dribbling 11 first touch. He can also play the false nine really good physicals, decision-making composure. I think Richardson and Simmons are going to make a really good duo up top. Uh, and I don't know if any of our guys are going to be able to keep them out of the lineup. So that's the moves that we've made. So we're coming back today to play Millwall. Millwall was relegated uh, from the championship last season. So you can also see Jordan Stevens out with Achilles tendonitis, Ian Joyce out with sprained knee ligaments, and Tristan Cover is actually doubtful now. He was out for a little while. So these guys all went out during friendlies and uh, are training session so we're without them so let's take a look at let's see first off we are underdogs not horrible four to one 
not horrible, but we are on the road. So I am going to go with our anchor position. We're going to go here, Richardson and Simmons, as I expected. Wilson will be on the bench. All right, so Awani returns at left back. Uh, we, re, uh, we got him uh, on loan. Is he with Bourne? Yeah, he's so he's loaned out for the third straight year. So he started pretty exclusively for us last year. So he's going to be at left back. Uh, Bailey on the right side. Um, hmm. I like I like Kike though. Let's go ahead and put Kike in there. Bailey will go to the bench. Now, why would oh match fitness? That's okay. He's got to play to get that. Uh, Aya Kaviti and MJ Williams. So Williams was more of a defensive midfielder after we signed him last year. But he is going to, you know, with the guys that we lost uh, at center back, he is going to end up moving back here. MJ. Oh, I didn't realize his name was Michael Jordan. That's great. That's hilarious. Uh, Pereira on the left side. He is our co-captain. Uh, Dua returning on the right side. Let's see. Any new guys there? Not really. There's Mariah Welch. He can play the right and the left. Jaden Bennett can play the right and the left as well. So let's see. Defensive right. Defensive right, left. Mid, mid, and strikers. Don't know if I want two strikers. I'm, I'm going to... Let me, let's see who we've got here. All right, so anchor position, Adam Pete, uh, Harry Hamblin are starting. Uh, Jordan Stevens is injured. And Jordan Thompson. I think I'm going to put Thompson there, fellas. And what about up here? That's going to depend on who I... So Richardson, Wilson, Simmons. I'd like McElhaney up there. Mac, I want to get McElhaney some starts, but with the guys that we've got, I just don't know if that's going to happen. Um, Adnan, so George, I think. I think we bring George out, and then we can bring in... Um, Jordan Thompson. There he is, Jordan Thompson. So he would be defensive mid. All right, so he's my center back reserve. All right, I like where we're at. We've got Hoskins in goal. So let's go ahead and get to it. Hopefully we can do decent work. The expectation is to avoid relegation. We were actually picked to finish. We weren't even picked to finish in relegation. Uh, we're actually picked to finish around 17th or something like that. Bottom half, but still uh, much better than I expected. Are we going to have an actual highlight? No. <laughs> Are they going to have an actual highlight? Wow. This is an exciting kickoff highlight, yeah? All right, back to the keeper. Good. Hoskins. Out to Aya Kaviti. All right, he lumps it. Richardson makes a great run. Oh, taken down at the edge of the box. No oh, shot. Okay, that was the longest kickoff highlight I've ever seen. And we ended up with a shot out of it. That was awesome. <laughs> I 
Have you ever seen a kickoff highlight last that long? That was insane. I'm going to praise the boys. All right, Hoskins up to Michael ja Jordan, not Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. Hamblin. Oh, he lumps it. Oh, look at Richardson put the pace, the touch. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Oh, I feel excited, though. I feel excited. I see some stuff working. All right. Joliff goes up and makes the grab. We're really controlling the match. I am liking it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stress. No. Huh? I was. Oh, you're back. Yep. Oh. Okay. I'll I'll talk. I'll tell you about it in a little while. Oh, Ayakaviti picks his pocket. Nice. Good defense. All right. Up to Awani. Makes a run. Plays it ahead. Simmons. Simmons. Oh, the keeper holds it up again. Oh, we're looking really good. Uh, hold on. And eh, you know what? I'm going to finish off the half. We're actually, eh, I don't want to mess with anything. Eight on target. Only one long shot. I'm loving the the stats, but we're getting, we're getting jobbed. <laughs> we are getting jobbed. He has won and lost possession more than any other player on the team. We've struggled for possession in the opponent's half. All right, let's go to tactics. If I go here, excellent efforts, no yellow cards. That's, oh, a couple of things. I won manager of the year for league two last year. Uh, Patrick Dua, our right, uh, Stephen Dua, not Patrick, Stephen Dua uh, set a, League two record for assist with 19. No, no. And um, those were the two that I remember. All right. Um, you know, Richardson's struggling. Let's bring Wilson on. Mid, right, left. Put him in for Pereira. Bennett's, I like Bennett's a lot. He had a good year for us last year. I just have to really see how we're, ooh, they've really closed it down. I may, oh, what an inside pass. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, fellas. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh oh stomped on him oh he's gone he is gone a second yellow all right um um okay wilson simmons and then Bolter. And then let's go back to that one. Right there. Tighten up. I think I'll take a draw now. Dua. Back out to Kake. Lumped ahead. Head it out. Bennett's controls it. Come on. How many how many highlights have we seen that we've we've crossed it right into Oh, look at that play. Right into the back of another player. Damn it. Oh, humped forward. Oh, what a tackle. 
What a slide to cut that ball off. All right, he's got a runner out, out left, out wide, way out wide. Played it through Bennett's. Yes! Oh, that's a huge goal. A man down? Yes. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I forgot I was checking out my camera and I forgot to resize it. Big head. Sorry. Definitely overlooked that. Forgot to do that. What a pass and touch. Get in there, son. Jaden Bennett's. Uh, I want to go to balanced here. Uh, do it with a nice little flick header. Tried to do a cheeky lump over the top. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Out of position there. Uh, good interception by Bolter. Hoskins. Ayakaviti. Up to Bennett's. Oh, he's looking for Wilson. Oh, he broke it. Yes! Aaron Wilson, get in there. Oh, my God. Two goals of being a man down. Nail in the coffin. Too early? Too early? Uh, it was a brilliant ball, though. Brilliant ball. Kake. Crossed in. Pete. Plays it outside to Awani. Again, into the into this back of a, a defender. God dog it. Hopefully we can resolve that. I mean, we could have just shit. Oh, okay, well. All right, now I'm nervous. I'm going to go up to attacking again. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow. Blow the whistle. Up to Bennett's. Wilson. Poor, poor cross. Whew. Exhale a sigh of relief. <sighs> Huge win. Huge win. Oh, my was not expecting that that's mm. ah. hey we're already in the playoffs woohoo <laughs> all right let's go check the inbox yeah we triumph against the odds hamblin makes his debut williams uh it was a double yellow so i'm just going to give him a warning he accepts it Wilson shines, one goal, two shots on target. Uh, keep it up. All right, so let's go ahead and get a couple of games under our belt. Uh, boy, there's some, some names in here now, huh? Sheffield United, Yeovletown, MK Dons, Fleetwood, Nottingham Forest. Hey, Gillingham, that's who we got... Uh, we signed somebody from them. Forgot who. I don't remember. Might have been Cole Lambert when we were at Infield Town. Anyway. Wow. I think that deserves a thumbs up and a like. Uh, so let's shoot for, I don't know. If we get five views, let's shoot for five likes. Let's go for 100%. Five likes on this one. Help me out, guys. <laughs> I mean, that was a huge win. Also, this was on the road. We had almost a thousand away people. So last year, into the season, 43, 47, 42. So about 4,200 people at home at the end of the year. And we brought almost a thousand on an away game. What did we do on away games last year? Let's see. Uh, Abby, well, the last the last away game we had three hundred and eleven, three oh five, three fifty eight. So almost triple. That's huge. That's huge. So I am looking forward to our first home game. Right. See what kind of. Uh, 
attendance we have. I think we brought in about 3,000 season tickets. So, and what's our stadium hold? Facilities, 5,334 seated. So I'd like to see around 5,000, if we could, seated. I think that would be great. I think that would be great. Uh, also, uh, just a couple of quick things. I ended up getting my, my uh, B coaching badge. I did ask them to go back out for my next level, and they said no. Uh, they were worried about me getting uh, too high up and then being poached by another club, a higher club. So probably with good merit, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the little bell icon to get notifications. And uh, in the comments, just let me know what you guys think of any of our signings. Uh, who do you think are big players going to be this year? You know, give me some early season prognosis. Uh, let's see if we go to the competition. Um, so, yeah, let me know where you think we'll end up here. Uh, in the preseason, just so you know, we were picked to finish 17th. So we were promoted uh, for last year. So actually none of the promoted teams are picked to finish in relegation. So that's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, anyway, we will, it looks like Millwall, Millwall was projected to, to get pro automatic promotion this year. So that's awesome. Uh, what is the rules here? Looks like two, two automatic and then one playoff go up to the championship. So that's sweet. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Catch you guys next episode. Bye.